Boys and girls, sorry. I'm on my phone again. My camera, my webcam is uh, still on loan at work. I'm not eating m and I already got home. So, the preference of this video is to show you that I'm horrible. I'm horrible at talking. My mother in law, uh, Messaged me this morning. She went and hit up some garage sales. I'm sorry for the poor lighting. It's awful. And she sent me a picture of something she saw. She found a Fender Squire Strat at a garage sale for $15. Now this little battery powered piece of crap amp. It's a Harmony. I don't know. It looks like it may have a power input, but it is battery powered too. You can see that. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do anything with that or not. Anyway, found this strat, squire strat, for $15. I figured, hey, it's a squire strat for $15. How can I go wrong? So just doing an initial assessment here and uh I have my work cut out for me. Um, the neck appears straight. Um, it is doesn't it doesn't seem to be warped. I looked at it. It has a black finish. It's got pearl uh, pit guard and the and the um, rear guard is is pearl as well. Which I'm not. I've never been a a real big fan of the pearl stuff, but it is what it is. So, um, the tremolo, you can see tremolo, tremolo. I'm gonna have to lock it down. So, uh, hang on, let me get this turned around right. All right, we're back. See, uh, initial inspection, you can see where the tremolo needs to be locked down. Um, it's filthy. It is nasty. It is missing. It's missing uh, one string. But you know that's okay. the The tuners seem to be okay. You know, they're of course they got strings on them. I have to pull them off. You know, this one's a little loose. I'm gonna take it apart and do. It might be just loose. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some inspection on it once I disassemble it which will be at some point this weekend, which you probably won't see this video until after I'm done disassembling it. It's got, it's got a pretty bad nick right there. It looks like it was probably dropped. Um, it's, it was really thick. I may, I may try to, uh, find some paint to match. Come on, focus, focus camera. And it's got, it's got some, some spots on the edge. Uh, that are pretty nasty overall though it's not horrible it's a little nick right there I think I can touch all that stuff up though but I'm, I'm gonna have to pull all this out because something's not right um, this is bent I'm gonna pull that out it's bent over but let me show you here the, I don't know if you can hear it the pot is really dirty this one Nothing. That sounds like something rubbing underneath. Oh, I'm about to get a screwdriver. But anyway. That's just coming off of the, the body. Uh, I got nothing. I've got nothing as far as um, sound from the pickups. You know, let's see if I can do this with... Oh, I forgot about my... Forgot about my M&M's headset on the desk. But give me while I... Uh, hang on, let me see if I can get this screwdriver out. Okay. This is actually a screwdriver out of a, an iPhone repair kit. I used to do that on occasion. Okay, we got a little bit of sound. So that pickup is, is hot, it's, it's active. 
this one should be this one should be yes we're in this one this one's not doing anything there it is so I think you see what I'm doing I'm just tapping the tapping the pickup that should be center it should be just center. okay so that electronics seem to work they're just probably really dirty and might be kind of uh I, I think I just got to pull it out I'm gonna get some probably go tomorrow and get some uh, electronics cleaner and clean these pots I'm gonna pull those out and clean all this stuff up this I don't know why that is screwed down all the way like that that should not should not be even this up so and I'm gonna have to lock this tremolo down the bridge down because I'm not because I've never been a fan of the tremolo so I got a feeling that we're not hearing anything because of probably because of this or this because this is really loose this is really loose so anyway I'm gonna pull this thing apart and um, and see what we have all right see you in a minute girls I got it broke down and the uh, you know I thought the tuner was loose earlier this one right here um, but as I was removing the strings look at all the dirt Focus camera, focus. Look at all the dirt and the gunk and the DNA. Nasty. But what was happening, or what did happen, was the screws were loose. Because as I was removing some strings and twisting them, I'm going to pull all those off and clean them. Does that look? Even some of the original plastic is on there. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. They were loose. And I think once I clean them and get them good and tight, it's gonna be okay. So that's that's that. Uh, there was shims. There was there were some paper stuck down in the pocket. You can see right here. Uh, looks like somebody gouged out some of the. I don't know if that happened at the factory or. Surely it didn't. It don't seem like this guitar. I don't know if this guitar has ever been apart or not, but that looks like it was gouged out. And somebody tried to fill it in with some shims. So it fit in there something like that. Something like that. Or was it like that? It might have been like that because I don't know because it's got two holes in it. So uh, this thing is corroded. It is so nasty. I don't know if you can see all that stuff i think it's been sitting up for a while uh, i straighten I straighten that back out the pots are completely filthy they're scratchy you heard that um i bought some electronic cleaner contact cleaner but walmart the cashier didn't uh give it to me so i've got to go back tomorrow and hopefully get it the wiring looks okay Everything looks still to be factory. So I think the biggest problem is going to be in that volume pot. Excuse me, I'm trying to look at the same time. Sorry, got you close and wasn't even. So anyway, I think, I think the issue is going to be in that volume pot. I think once I get it cleaned, possibly, it may work. So, but yeah, all the connections look pretty good. You can tell it's the cheaper uh, Squire Electronics, but look how filthy that is. Let's see where the plate went on the pick guard. Gosh, this thing needs a bath. Honestly. This I'm not too sure about. I'm not sure if this is factory solder because it looks awful. And there was this piece of tape on here that was along. <laughs> I, I didn't know what that was either for a moment. So <laughs> anyway, this is really loose. I've got to I've got to tighten that up really good. But give it a good bath. Get some uh, some lacquer paint. I think I can build that up. I think there's one more spot on the back. That'd be wet wet sand. These spots. 
put another coat of of uh, I've got some. I can get some lacquer, some lacquer clear. We'll remove this, and get that cleaned up. Otherwise, I think it's going to be all right. We'll save that for another video. Um, I'm going to tomorrow try to first go back and get some contact cleaner. And then I will take the time to clean this mess up. And then I will show you how we clean these. This one right here was really scratchy. The other two wasn't that bad. But the volume one right here was really scratchy. So volume and two-tone. Uh, I'll show you how we do that. As well as maybe clean my fretboard. Re-oil it. We'll get this off. And I'll have a lot of fun cleaning it. We'll readjust these. And uh, spring, springs, springs, strings should be in hopefully next week. So, anyway, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fantastic. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you later. Bye.